Hello, I'm Kathleen Wall. I'm the Colonial Food Waste Culinarian at Plymouth Plantation, and today we're going to use an old recipe for your new leftovers. This is a fricassee, and a fricassee in the 17th century is a dish of meat that's boiled and then fried, but you don't have to actually boil the meat first because um, you don't often have that. So if you have leftover turkey or leftover chicken, and this is turkey that I have right here, um, we're just gonna make a nice little dish from it. Um, so the meat's already been cooked and it's been cut up. You can shred it up if you like it better that way or cut it into neat little cubes if you like that better. Um, and then what we're going to do is um, put some butter in the pan and melt that and brown the meat in the pan just a little. So that's nice and hot. And this will give the meat um, a little color and a little more flavor as it browns. So this is really easy to do. Um, so then we're going to add the meat. Now in the original recipe, which comes from a Dutch cookbook, um, it says that you can use turkey or capon or chicken or peahen um, or rabbit or dove. So whatever fowl that you have, you can use this way. Um, and you can make more or less. It doesn't give amounts in the 17th century because they figure you know how much food you have and how many people you have to feed, and you should be able to figure that out. So now we're going to add some broth. Um, you can use canned broth. It's okay. We like to save the bones from our birds and boil them up to make broth. There. So we're going to let that heat up while we make the rest of the sauce. So we have two egg yolks here, and we're gonna beat those together. That was very easy. Um, this is nutmeg. Um, this is a, a whole fresh nutmeg. You can use ground spice as well, but it's nice to have the whole nutmeg. This is whole mace, and mace actually grows around nutmegs. Um, and um, again, it might be another spice that you can um, buy ground, and that's all right too. The food history police won't come to your house. So, and we have just a small amount because they're fresh. If you're using fresh spice, you don't um, need quite as much necessarily. And you can always taste it and um, decide to add more later. And we're going to add just a little vinegar to this. And that gives it a nice little sharpness. And now some salt. And it depends on your broth how much salt you're going to add. If you're using a canned broth, there might be enough salt in it already. If it's a homemade broth, then you'll know. So this is coming to a boil. I'm going to turn that down just a little. And if you have parsley, you can chop up some parsley and add it at this point too. That's a, another way of doing this. So you can even have a variation on your leftovers. And it just takes a minute or two for the eggs to thicken the broth. And then you'll be ready to serve it. Now in the 17th century, you're going to serve it over sops or sippets. And sops, you say, what are those? Well, it's slices of bread that are toasted or fried. Um, and sippets are small sops. And I kid you not, that is the actual definition of a sippet. Um, so you could have um, bread and toast it. Now, I would say you could also use um, pasta or macaroni uh, to put this over, or rice to put it over, it would be very good, or mashed potatoes. Or if it's near Thanksgiving, you might have leftover cornbread stuffing, which the mere thought of which makes me drool. Um, so you have all these possibilities um, that you can put this on. All right, so the um, eggs and the spice have been added to the broth, and the meat's already been in the pan with the butter. And so now it's just time to serve it forth 
as they say. I always love how in the 17th century, how many recipes remind you to serve the food. I'm not sure what you would do with it otherwise. Um, and I wish you could smell this because the spices smell really good. Um, the sauce is really nice. There's lots of sauce here to put on something underneath. This really does need a sop. So there you have it, fricassee of turkey from a 17th century recipe.